Hey guys, look what just arrived. So this is my uh, solution to my um, last video. I'm asking about an inverter and charge controller. Uh, unfortunately, I was having a really hard time trying to find a charge control, a two-in-one um, product that's actually, uh, you know, it's an inverter uh, with a charge controller and on you know output 120 AC and then uh, DC inputs up to 64 volts and adjustable cutoff point for the battery it is almost I think impossible to find something like that um, at least it's not available yet on the market or, or it's gonna be really expensive to get the um, the split face stuff uh, the 120 stuff here so what I went with I, I decided just to um, get a uh, an inverter and then leave the uh, midnight 150 as the charge controller for the water heater array and then just uh, put in a um, just another you know 120 volt uh, inverter but uh, I was even having a hard time trying to find that trying to find an inverter that can handle up to 64 volt and then have the uh, battery cut off voltage at about 57 volt 56 57 volts so this is a custom uh, made uh, custom uh, uh, custom voltage by reliable and basically just on eBay you send them a message and then uh, telling them what you want the, or the voltage to be at I have to test that um, I don't really trust them um, like I said I, I if you see my my previous video when I first started out with solar this is the brand that I started out with when I first started out I started out with a 24 volt reliable 2500 watts inverter um, it worked fine I mean it's not it's not the best inverter and it, it worked all right but it's uh, there was there was no adjustment you couldn't really adjust anything on it um, the only thing that you could you could adjust was the um, a very small amount uh, a very small range of output voltage on the uh, on the AC side so that's the problem I was having. My inverter was outputting very high voltage um, AC wise. It was doing like 127, 128 volts uh, AC. So some of my appliance didn't really like that high voltage because the voltage that's coming out of my, uh, the, the grids here are like 119, 120 max. And, but I kept seeing, you know, 127, 128 um, from these inverters. So that's why, and so I contacted them. They showed me how to adjust the pot inside the inverter to get the voltage down. And all the way down, I was able to get it down to about 124, but that's the lowest I've, I've got it down to. So I didn't like that. So I specified with them that this time, I want it to be a max of 120 volt uh, AC outputs. And then 57 volts, the alarm should comes on, and then 56 volts, it should cut off. So I'm gonna have to test that before I put it into my system because I don't wanna kill my battery. Um, that's the other thing, with the LED setup, um, you know, with a 24 volt inverter that I was using, the cutoff the, on, for the battery was really low. It, you know, 24 volts and it cuts off at like 19, 18 or 19 volts which you know kill the the lead or the AGM batteries so I specify with them at the voltage that I want so hopefully that's going to work and this is a 3500 so get it out of the box here this is a so I went with a 3500 watts because I figure if my water heater was going to pull you know a thousand watts um, and then I want to be able to uh, use other stuff with it. Uh, hopefully, maybe a, an induction cooking or something, so that my mom can uh, can use the, the extra power in the winter time. So here we go. Now, there's one thing here. So this box is Mark 3500, but uh, and then 60 volts. So hopefully, they did get gave me a custom one and 60 hertz that's good 120 volts so everything looks good so here we go and i guess it's not too big as big as the box so the only thing that i keep laughing is they, they always um, give you this um, 
wire for your inverters and you know it's it's it's, it's a joke because uh, um, these wire aren't really um, size big enough uh, these look like it may be like a, a 10 gauge or something like that even if you use two of them uh, it's probably not quite enough for your 3500 watts anyway but uh, that's what they give you so don't use this and it looks like I have some fuse and they are rated for 10 amps and there's a few of them and I don't know why or what it's for let's see so Okay, so again 60 volts uh, they didn't mark any I didn't see any mark that is this the cutoff is at 57 volts so like I said I'm gonna have to test it myself before I put it into my system um, so, uh, lots of you guys probably have seen this inverter before they're pretty they, they you know they get in popular for the off-grid setup um, a lot of people are using them with good luck and but you know they don't they don't really have the the great customer service like if you were to buy a you know a product that's a USA product of course but for the price you know it's not too bad I think I pay a little bit too much for this inverter um, so they wanted 400 for this shipped it um, so that's not too bad but uh, I probably could have got a better deal but uh, again like I said there's not much you can't adjust anything on the outside um, there might be a potentiometers inside that lets you adjust the output um, AC voltage but you can't um, adjust the voltage cutoff um, so that's that's uh, that's pretty much for me that's a pretty big uh, big cons but uh, anyway so I will I uh, I will try to test it and if it what it is and if they get the voltage cut off uh, correctly I'll go ahead and install that into my system once installed I'll make another video the other thing is they told me that this will idle um, they will use about uh, 0.7 amps um, idling so uh, 0.7 amps you know at 60 volts will be about 40 something watts maybe 50 watts so I'm hoping that's what it's going to stay at um, if it's more you know some of these mo most of these uh, Chinese inverter they kind of don't tell you the real um, idle consumption um, and then you know it's rated for like 85% efficiency which is very very low um, at this voltage um, for my 48 uh, for example my 48 volt inverter uh, Connex XW um, you know it's rated at about 95 394% efficient um, but this one's only rated 85% efficient I'm hoping it's actually 85 and not less than 85 because that you know that's a lot of power to waste um, considering the high idle um, usage and then in the low efficiency that's going to take a lot of power out of your you know for a small solar system so well wish me luck and then uh, like I said if you like my video please subscribe and share Thank you so much for watching.